Stormzy! Mel made me do it! Mel made him do it, apparently. Yeah, apparently she made him do it a while ago. Stormzy came out with, ah, oh, bro. Yeah, I wanna, do you know, I kinda wanna watch it again. I'm so excited for this conversation, bro. I kinda wanna watch it I'm again. I'm excited for this conversation. Can we just put it in the back while we're just talking? What? I just wanted to have it in the background while I'm talking. Have Not what? the music, just the visual. Yeah, sure. Um, you lot ain't gonna see it or hear it, but it's cool. Um, I got a text message basically saying, don't worry, you can stand in front, it's fine. Um, I got a text message saying, something's dropping at nine o'clock today. Today? That was the text I got. Today, as in today as we're recording Not this. today. That was when- this On was the day? Before. Yeah, on the day. Yeah. yeah. Something's dropping at 9 p.m. today. Um, so look out. I said, all right, cool. Uh, I had, to, I had a, something to do in the evening. Who, who was that? Was it industry insider, that person? It was, yeah. But it wasn't like, it wasn't, it wasn't someone that was super, super close yeah. to it, but someone that is close enough, yeah? Um, and I said, all right, cool. Do you know what? At quarter past nine or 20 past nine, I realized, oh, it's, um, it's Stormzy, but I didn't see a video. I actually just listened to the audio. I just yeah. went, I thought, oh, I couldn't, f I Googled, I, um, I went on YouTube, I put Stormzy and whatever, and nothing came up. So I just went on Spotify and I saw the song. So I listened to the song. Before you saw the visual? Before I saw the visual. Oh, wow. You are well, one of the only people to do that. I know, I know. I didn't, bro, I, literally, the space between me listening to the song and me actually watching the video was super wide, you know? Yeah. It wasn't even a, oh, like I heard the song and then I like quickly saw the video. I saw the video maybe four hours afterwards. Oh, wow. So I've like, I'm listening to the song or whatnot and like, yeah, there was just, it was long. I was like, there was a few things in there that he was saying and whatnot. And I just thought, oh yeah, like, this is cool. Like, I didn't really have nothing. I just thought, you know what? This is the guy who's lightly rapping. He's just saying a couple things or whatever. Like, I, I was already aware that like, he's working on the album, the album's dropping this year or whatnot. I, I, I can't say that I left listening to the audio mind blown. Yeah. I just thought, yeah, like he's a, he's back. He's just, you know what I mean, flexing, saying some shit. Me, I'll get to this bit in a bit. I love hearing black rich talk. I do. I like hearing, not just about the watch though. I like hearing about, you know, when a man says, yeah, just flipping, sharing the gym with Prince William and that. I like hearing that. Man said I spent 20 bags on my shower head. Right, I love that. On a shower head. I love that. Bro brother, a shower head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like oh. two thirds of a mortgage deposit on a shower head. This is it. I like hearing how much the mattress cost. I like that type of thing. Mm. Like it's, it's, okay, the watch I stuff is cool. I wear the 5.990 in the gym. That's still a flex though. Huh? He says he wears the 5.990 in the gym. There you go. I, know, but I do like, like all elements of that I like. I like Dave saying, I'm so close to my pension. My left wrist is 61. I, I yeah. do like hearing those yeah. type of things. But I also like hearing when, you know, like when a man says, Something like, oh, she wants to go to the cinema, so we go downstairs. Yeah, I like yeah. that. I like that. But so there was little bits and pieces in it that I, I liked, yeah. But as I said, I didn't come away from it mind blown. But I, then I saw the video. I saw the video late in the night, just before I went to bed, and I thought, this video is absolutely sensational. Did it enhance the song for you? Did it enhance the song? No. It actually didn't. It didn't enhance the song, but the power in the video was the visual, added to a few things that he was saying, but that monologue that was put in there was what made it special for me. Do you get what I'm saying? And then seeing all of these lot in there and just like- So you're the way saying the, the way part that had nothing to do with him made it special? No, that's still, it has, it has a lot to do with him. But I'm we, saying the part he didn't, like, it's not him, is it? It's Rich wrote it and Michaela Cole delivered it. And that's the special part. Yeah, that's the special part, but that's still him though. The, but that, that, but that, that, listen, that, that part's not in the audio though, is it? No, that's not in the audio. But the reason why that's, the reason why I still attack, like I connect that to him, yeah. that doesn't happen if he doesn't make that happen. I don't right. think that there was someone else that. So he exactly I don't think that was like a that. genius idea from so. I think that was him who said, I'm speculating here. Yeah, hey, of course, I of course, don't we know don't know this. But like, but actually one thing that I will say, yeah, I might have to see if I can get a co-sign to say this, but originally it was Wretch that was saying this, 
that he was actually him. Then he changed it and was like, nah, do you know what? I want I want a different voice saying this. Oh. Yeah. But um yeah, I still attribute attribute that to him. So yeah, for me, that part there was the extra special part for me. It was, it was special. And yeah, as I, I said, I still att- attribute that to him. And then and then not just not just even the the lyrics, which were special, you know, incorporating um, Little Sims's album title and yeah. Dave, and then you see the shots of them, and yeah. then Gabrielle and the shot of her. But then even to have that ability to go, I need these individuals to carry that through. That yeah. like when he's talking about with the pioneers before, then you see Mega Man with the white Averix on on the bowler hat. Like these, these, this detail, this attention to detail. You know, even like look at the 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 pairing of Mega, Jamie, and um, Hedy. Like even that, beautiful. Even that, like what Mega represents, what Jamie, what Jamie represents, what Hedy represents. Like and literally, you're seeing like the small detail of Mega closer to the cam. Then Jamie and then Hedy. Yeah. Like, oh, bro. It's the, it's the generations, bro. It was. It was executed to perfection, man. Even the umbrellas, because of storms, he says the storm can't weather the storm and they're all holding umbrellas. And bro, it was, it's art. Yeah. This is this is art in its yeah. purest form, this. This is real, real art. And then it just helps that the video shot very glossy as well. Right, right, it right. looks incredible. You got Usain Bolt chilling in the biggest mansion in Jamaica. Right, right. Watching the show, Mel made me do it. You know, that's the next, I think, if anything, if the one thing that it did do, when the audio to the visual is like, it like, and I guess obviously this is the given, but yeah, it definitely brought a few of the bars just to light yeah. in a way that oh. I wouldn't have, yeah. I wouldn't have seen it if yeah. I didn't, you know, like sometimes some rappers, yeah, they can say certain things and you can kind of envision, like Jay's really good at that, actually. Like he would just say certain things and like, even if you just close your eyes, you could just picture it. I like... I did. I didn't do that in the audio when I listened to it, but when I watched it and I saw that the way that they like, I wouldn't have been. Able, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have been able to put that together in my mind. Mm. Do you know what? I, the part that stole the show though was gone. Oh, Jose Mourinho, mad. Stole the show when mad. I was when I went on Twitter and I saw it. Everyone was talking about Jose Mourinho being in the video. Yeah, yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. Obviously, that part, the real actual special part, was. Obviously, seeing all of the people in our scene at the end dressed in white, the poem. But the Jose Mourinho thing was such oh. a curveball. It's because mm. no one expects that. Like, we know Stormzy can get Mega in a video if he wanted to. JME, Heady One. That's possible. That's not mind blowing to us. Yeah. Even Jonathan Ross, as big as Jonathan Ross is, or Usain Bolt, that's not mind blowing to no, us. No. Seeing Jose in a video is such a paradox. Yeah. It's such a paradox. Yeah, it's We've true. manned him around him in all black Benja. Yeah. Grabbing, grabbing him up. Him. Yeah, grabbing yeah, yeah, him yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. like he's one of the man them. That paradox there is just... And do you know what? I'm not just saying this. Do you know why I was pissed? Because one of my goals I always said I wanted. I said I wanted. I wanted Jose Mourinho on kick game. Why, Before what? I saw this, I wanted Jose Mourinho on kick game. Yeah, what? So why are you pissed? Because it's like, that would have, it's, he's done it. It's not the same thing, but like, yeah. he's done the paradox I wanted to I do. That, yeah, yeah. I always wanted a guess that no one would think. Do you get yeah. what I'm saying? Like, what is he doing shopping for sneakers? Yeah. In yeah, 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 the yeah. paradox would that screw people's I think, that, I think that will still, I think something like yeah, that. Yeah, but this takes the gloss of it because he's done the paradox now. It's I like Jose around. I know, I know what you and mean. You I know could know ask the B-Work kicker. I was talking about this like a month, or two months ago. I was like, yo, I wish I want to get Jose and I want to get Jose. Imagine Jose shopping for kicks. Yeah, yeah. And Stormzy did it. He had the man them around him. It's just that paradox. Yeah. And, and I knew Jose would be the guy to do it. Yeah, yeah. Because he's just a character. People, he's just a character. There's not another manager, really, that you would just, like... I think that would fit that as no, well as Jose. he's a character, no. bro. He's a special one. People need to understand, like, as much as he's serious and he's that guy, Jose Mourinho has always been in the business of entertaining people as well. When you watch his press conferences, everything. He knew it was also bigger than just the results on the pitch. Also, what am I doing in these press conferences? What am I saying to the media? How can I just get people talking? How can I take the light off of footballers mm. and make it about me? And yeah, yeah, yeah. He's always been in that. But yeah, it was just, it was great to see him in the video as well, man. It was a moment. I loved, 
um, seeing Stylogy in there, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Way. That, was, that, was, that was hard cameo. Um, also, oh, I love seeing Clint in there too, you know. I yeah. can't even lie. Yeah, I, I wasn't surprised seeing... about that though. Neither was I. He's uh, do you know what I video? He's been in, you know, yeah, but do you know scenes. what it was? It was the, I feel like, I don't know, man. I get it. I hear that still. I think it was just the way that I saw him in this video. But I do the like shot as well. Icy, innit? I see. It was the icy. His shot was one of the icy shots. Shout out Clint, that shot I was see. crazy. Yeah. What? It I was just see. crazy. It and just I think it was fitting more so, yeah. I think it was fitting more so that in that in the clothing aspect that he did the Benj art thing, really because yeah, like you see, like how do I explain this? Like what Stormzy is and what Stormzy also represents, yeah, and his journey in particular, ironically, hasn't always been in the mix of the noise of like the coolest thing, but to me. I still feel like who he is and what he represents to me is still such a cool thing to be. To be to be how he is and be so unapologetically black in, in the mix of that as well, yeah? Mm. Like, at the height of his career too, when I see Benjar and what Benjar is doing, and I say this to people all the time, I'm like, you know, Benjar isn't always with the noise. But what Benjar is doing and the impact that Benjar is making is so incredible. S especially like, sometimes you actually just have to go there to actually see it. Yeah. When you go to the factory and you go and you see the actual operation that is happening, and then also you step outside of like, just your inner circle, just your inner circle, and then you start, you know, you start seeing the, the different types of people that are really invested in this brand or whatnot. I just felt like, for me, the, the way that both of them are, that was more of a fit than to then turn around and see him, you know, wearing Trap Star or, you know, maybe even wearing Cortez. Do you get what I'm saying? He's been wearing them though. Oh no, of course. I've seen him in Cortez and I've seen him in Of Trap course, of course. But, but, but that's a though. given. Obviously he was in, he did Glastonbury in, and he was wearing the Trap Star boxers. This is, that's the next thing. Like I remember, some of you look, might remember this, but I know some of you look, will forget that this actually happened because obviously, you know, we, we, lo we love to do things with, with convenience and that. But I do remember when Stormzy was on the stage in Glastonbury, wearing Trap Star in particular, mm. and he stood out right in the, in the front there. And he had a moment where he said, he just like bigged up, what, 30 artists? Like he just said so much different names yeah. of artists or whatever. And then some of our own people looked at him and said, he's not paying homage. What? what, did, what did I mean? remember that. I remember that being a conversation. Well, what did they mean by he's not paying homage if he it's, paid homage? Big man, I swear to God, I remember watching this, thinking to myself, is there something wrong with me? Mm -hmm. But what was their angle when they're saying that? I rem Mitch, you're not hearing me. <laughs> I remember looking at this thinking, is there something wrong with me? Because I'm asking the same question. Yeah. What What do you, like, what does that, what does that mean? Like, how, what does that mean? So I didn't, I didn't end up like getting involved in the mix of all of that because I just thought that was just all nonsense to me. But, because to me, it's just ridiculous. But then you see this and you're like, my man's never stopped. He's never stopped paying homage. But I think that like, Stormzy's in an interesting place here where obviously this comes with having the energy of, you know, if you're saying you're the king and you're holding this crown on your head or whatever, yeah, of course, people come for the king's head. That is a historical thing. So in reality, people are always going to find a, something to say or, uh, you know, discredit in some way, shape or form. We see it happen with Drake. I think that is one of the reasons why for me, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying these two are the same at all, but I've always said that I think one of the reasons why Drake has lasted as long as he has is because of that other side of people actually continuing to have something mad about him to say. He just mm. taps into something and is just like, all right, cool. Well, I always feel like my back's against the wall. As much as people love me, I do feel like my back's against the wall. I feel like Stormzy probably feels that as well. What, what is one of the first things that he says in the bar where he's like, he says something about it being boring. Wait. See if I can find it. Funny word again, because it needs me. Something like that. What he said, they, they always cuss him, but the game needs him or something. Is that what you're talking about? No, I'm gonna find it. It's about within this song. Yes, yeah, right at the beginning. 
All I know is, for me, Stormzy is one of the greats in our scene. Anyone that doesn't give him those props is a hater mm. for whatever reason. He's put in the work. Mm. Um, he's got the accolades to back it up. He's talented. He's definitely one of the greats. Is he the king? Well, that's a whole different conversation. That's a whole different conversation, in my well, it opinion. It depends on what the what what. I mean, yeah. This is. Do you want to have it? We can have it. Let me just start by saying this, and I hate that. I don't even want to have to do a disclaimer, but I'm gonna say this because I know a lot of these men. I know we both know all of these men. Yeah. Any one name that comes up. I'm a fan of our scene. I'm a fan of music. The way I talk about music in America and get passionate about it is because I'm a fan. Mm. Same goes for this. Nothing, no conversation I have about people musically here is personal. This is music and this is me being passionate as of a fan. Course. But with that being said, let's have this conversation. Um, is Stormzy the king? Not for me. Right, why? I think Jay Huss is. Oh, Jesus Christ. And I'll tell you why. Go on. For me, there's many things that make you the king. And of course, sales is gonna come into it. Um, you know, how many Not times- sales you, well though. I'm just saying, set, I'll, this is what I'm saying, sales mm. comes into it. People are gonna talk about, okay, you, how many times you sold out the O2, the festivals you've headlined, how much you've transcended abroad. All of these are definitely, definitely part of the conversation. But for me, if you can do, if you can be someone like Jay Huss, right? Who has the ability to sing and rap equally as well make hits, but give you the deep songs. But that's just that's just one thing. The other thing for me is what makes Jay Huss the greatest for me, is he doesn't need to do any of these things. He doesn't need to collaborate with anyone. He doesn't need to have loads of people in his video. He doesn't need to do any of that. Big Conspiracy came out two years ago. It still doesn't even have a music video mm. for one song on the project. Mm. The project has two features. Mm. Coffee and Burner Boy. No one in our scene and his sister. Three. One is his sister. I don't really count that. Didn't shoot a music video, went straight to number one. Mm. We don't even have a music video now. To me, that is a man that just lets music do the talking and the people get behind it. I feel like every other artist in our scene, every other artist in our scene, every single one of them, has to make a music video for their project if it comes out has to collaborate with another big person in our scene to make the noise and get it up and do that. They can't do what Jay Huss does. It's impossible. Dave can. Kano can. No, he can't. No, he can't. Kano can't. And whether Dave can or can't, he hasn't. You're right. Because the last album, he went and got the other big person in the scene, which is Stormzy. Right. And they went and made one of the coldest songs. Hmm. Shot in Aston Martin. Factory. Absolutely. It was just a big flex. The song was a flex. The beat was a Everything was a flex. Yeah, I know. I hear that. But Can man do what Jay Huss did and just go, there's nothing. I don't need no features. I don't need the bells and whistles. I don't need none of that. Here's the album. It's got a black album cover. Like I'm like, did it before Donda, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Here. There you go. Do I Not one music video. Went number one. Who can do it? You're telling me Dave can do it. Can. I'm not saying he can't. No, no, no. no you, I'm saying I, I need the thing to is, see it. The thing is, whatever I say, I can't answer because they haven't done it. Exactly. You're speaking in hypotheticals. Right. And I'm speaking in facts. Right. No, so I hear you on that. <laughs> but taking that into consideration, I just know that he can do it. I just know he can do that. Nah, you need they, evidence, bro. I know that he can you do it. Evidence, you need evidence, bro. But, but for me, yeah, for me, all of these things are cute and they're good and they're plausible. He probably but could that do doesn't it. make. Nah, he uh, probably could do it. Bro, of course, look, look. But how okay, many. But let's how look, okay, let's look at. And, and I know. I know that. Um, I know that Starlight in particular, yeah, wasn't. had a music video. But look what Starlight. That was a throwaway record, you know? Yeah. You know what Star Starlight did? Yeah, of course. But. 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 And that was a nut, bro. I honestly believe that without a music video does exactly the same thing. Yeah, but- That's because of pulling power. Do you know who I'm, and I'm not saying that these guys, cause I've got like, just go with me here, yeah. Talking about pulling power, because essentially that's kind of what you're talking about with Jay Huss, yeah. Like I've been looking at, and this is a different conversation even as a whole, but even with D-Block Europe, I'm like, no one really, no one really, talked about them Who? this last week, D-Block Europe. And they're about to 
Their numbers are inc- because, because, incredible. Because, because their music does the talking, bro. I've been listening well, to they, their project um, since course. it dropped. I've but, been listening to it all the time. It's such like a... It? Yeah. Oh, cool. A lot. Um, it's got everything, that project. I just don't think that that makes him the king, though. Like, I un- I think that, like... But he can it's spit. Such a, it's such a good point, yeah? It's such a good point because Huss... I think all of the makings are there for him to be the king of this thing. But for whatever it is, whatever the circumstances are, we keep, we're constantly talking about him on this pod. We're constantly talking about him. And he's not even present. And he's not even present. Yeah, but that's the reason why we're talking about him. Yo, no, big man, where is great, he? But, but we talk, but his name comes up because it's greatness. Everyone else has to make sure there's some type of of relevancy and they're doing even if the music's not out yeah they're doing other things in the real world yeah that has their name talking whether that's showing up at a fashion show or whether that's doing charity work or whether whatever it happens to be rappers whether they're making moves opening up a clothing label there's loads of things going on outside Huss is as far as we know mm. Huss is not doing anything no he's not but that doesn't. He's not doing you, anything. But that doesn't. To me, but that people are still make talking you, about they, the music and they want the music. And that's great because ultimately that's, that's so what it's supposed to, to be. Do. But your your original point where, where you said, you know what, you know that people are going to talk about this and they're going to add all of these things. I do think that all of those things matter. The reason why I was going to say I hear the argument for why people might say that Stormzy may not be the king here is because I guess. In some way, shape or form, some people are going to look at the element of influencing. Remember, we was talking about this mm. even with with Pop Smoke. Again, we're not saying that Pop Smoke is the king. But when you look at like the way that this person actually influenced. So you had the music, but it was the influence aspect of it as well. Yeah. That mi- the, the amount of people that get up and turn around and say, do you know what? Nah. You made me believe I could do this. You made me believe. It's not even just the music aspect of, I'm buying into you in a completely different way. I just don't like. So you're you're talking more the inspiration. That adds that adds that adds to you being a king. Yeah, but I'm talking. But when we talk influence, how have you musically influenced people to want to do what you do and take do your sound? Who said that again? When we talk about influence, right? How have you made people want to make your sound? Have you had an influence in the music like that? But who are you talking about? Just artists in general. I'm saying that's another element that makes you the king, in my opinion. Right. How has your music influenced people to want to make music like you? So when we talk about Future, right. Future inspired a whole trap generation. Yeah. Lil Wayne Influence. inspired a whole type of people. You go further back. Do you yeah. get what I'm saying? There's always been like an artist that shaped a sound and made people want to make that sound. Yeah. Kanye did that. He changed the whole trajectory of, of hip hop and made people right. not want to be gangster rap. Like that's what I'm talking about. Right. I feel like, let's take Huss for example. Right. When Huss came through and was doing the mixing the Afro beats and rap, that was a thing. Of course. That became a thing. Loads of people started doing that, in my opinion. No, you're right. He's the, f- well, do you know when what? Wiley no, and you know what? We wait, go back, wait. Wiley and Dizzy, they influenced a sound. But do you know what Huss that, will say though? Gone. Huss will credit um, Naira Marley and them like. Naira Marley and them and he's done that a lot yeah, yeah, yeah. because that's the that's that influence element look this is probably the better way well, of looking well, but he put it on a grander scale that's yeah definitely uh, uh, he took There's it to always a comp- gonna be he a... took it to a diff- absolutely okay. he took it to a whole different thing I agree with that yeah but what I'm saying here is yeah essentially is this if we're looking at someone who is the king I think that there is different look at it as a diagram there's the musical element, there's the influence element, there's the sales element, there's the shows element, there's the cultural impact element. You just have now have to lay out these artists and say, okay, what percentage are you in this? What percentage are you in that? What percentage are you in this? If Huss is dominating solely here and little bits here, here and here, that can't make you the king. Yeah, but I'm- It can't, you know what? No, 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 Wait, 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 do you understand what I'm saying? I, I understand perfectly what you're right, saying, okay. but what I'm saying is, you're going outside of music. I'm talking, we're, we're having a music discussion. I think you have to. No, because I'm talking about music, bro. I think I you have to. I don't know these people, bro. Art as a whole. Which, what's art as a whole? Art as a whole. There's 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 these are, um, the, no, but, but, the, but the discussion we're having is when, when man's saying they're the king, they're not saying I'm the king of England because you're not. Like, there's- Well, essentially you are. Well, he, no, as far as I'm well, concerned- Well, then some of these footballers are kings because no, they wait. got all no, the no, money no, no, and no, no, accolades no, 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 no. and the, what are we talking about? No, right that's, your, that's a false equivalency. See, for me, yeah, when I first heard Stormzy saying he was the king, I thought he meant that, because people were saying that. Was he saying that he was the king of music. grime? 
Yeah, he said King of Grime on Heavy Is The Head. I, I essentially took it as like him saying that he is the king of, you see like of what we're doing right now in regards to, yes, black music, but black culture. I am the king of this. If you come here, you can't say anyone's name other than me. Oh, okay, I didn't take it like that. I took it as music. I took it as this is a jostle for music. It's like when, like, and I always use the Americans as a, as a comparison and analogy. It's like when it was going on in America, I thought it was the same thing. Who's the, who's the king of New York? Who's the king of hip hop? Like who's, that's what I saw it as a music thing. Yeah. Over here in this music thing, what, Jay, what, rap made, is what made Jay-Z the king? Huh? What made Jay-Z a king to you? To me? Yeah. Or did you never look at him as a king? Oh my God, don't do that. I never I never had Jay as the king. Who did you? Uh, Kanye? I, I, originally, I had Biggie as the king. And then? And then, then there up, wasn't one. And then and then the throne was up in the air. And then Nas and Jay-Z had a little battle for it. Cool, that was a battle, whatever. Right, right. But Jay-Z, if we're talking what you... Hold on, hold on. What saying here, go on. If we're talking about what you're talking about, right. everything, yeah. business moves, all of these things, culture, all, all of that. I think they all then, count. Then people can say Jay's the king. I won't have a problem. I can never I have think a problem all, with that. Exactly. And but I think if we're talking count. musically, I don't know if you can say that. Like, because to me, it has to be, are you the best, first of all? Like, are you the best? Are you the best spitter? Do you make the best music? Do you have the best cultural impact musically? Are you... How influential are you musically? Right. Like there's all of these sorts of things that go into it. And how good are your projects? Right. Like th these are all conversations. And that's the conversation I was having here. Right, right, right. I say Huss is the king musically. This is, if you're talking outside of music, okay, I don't know. And it storms, he could be the king. I'm and I ain't got no problem. Bro. By the way, you but know, just, someone, can wait, I just hold say, on, I need this to be clear. No, you no, 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 let me you say keep this. saying this, yeah. <laughs> go on, go on. I'm adding it. Yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah. saying, I'm not talking just outside of music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm adding it. Yeah, I feel like it matters. Dave right. is closer to that than Huss at the moment. Well, let's, let's and that's only because, it's only because Huss has chosen, he's chosen to, to sonically just move a certain type of way. And I think that is, I think that he is an anomaly because you're right, the majority could not do that. The majority could not stay away for a couple of years, just be kind of quiet and then just come back whenever they want and have tell, to start tell me, Tell me who has two projects on that level, like that, a double pack. On of that common level. sense and big conspiracy as a project as whole projects, Dave. Be are you, if we're saying better, that's a different conversation. Do I think Huss's projects are better? Yeah, I probably would say that. I would probably say that. But are we, if we're saying in the same category, hundred percent. Yeah, 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 Dave is in that category. That's not, that's not even a hundred. And do you know what the thing he is? is when, we're, when we're talking about music as well, yeah. Remember, this is not because what I don't want to do is. And this is the way that it's sounding a little bit, but I know this is not what you're doing. But it's like, you're essentially saying that because this artist has gone and done X, Y, and Z, it makes them less because this person hasn't done it. But I'm like, no, he has the ability to be able to do it. Let's see you actually do it. Can you actually hold a stage at Glastonbury? Can you do that? Let's, uh, we don't know. We feel like he can, mm -hmm. but can he? Yo, let's go and see you tour Europe. Let's see you tour, uh, let's see you tour the world. Let's see how that looks. But, how does, see that, but how does that make you number one in UK rap? It adds to it. How does that make you number it one in UK to rap? It. If you're not the best, if you aren't the best, that, none of that even means anything anyway. Well then, okay, then. And, and I'm not saying other men aren't the best. I'm saying right. I think Jay Huss is the best. Right. I think when it comes to rapping, delivering a song, execution, melodies, I think Dave's a better rapper than Huss. In terms of, you know what? If I took both of these rappers and I put a beat on right now, yeah. for me, I just feel like Dave's body in it more than us, for me. Yeah, but you're like- For me. Like, so if we're just talking, to, because you're saying the best, but what are we saying the best in? Are we just saying the best just in rapping? All right, let me give you, let me give you an example. And please, people do not take this out of context what I'm about to say. I can't even do this, because people keep saying that I'm just, because Dave, whatever. What, because of Benny so and stuff? Exactly. What, because of Benny and that? <laughs> yeah, but I just- nah, think, I No, but, what every, but no one can, listen, see when you say this, I can't be mad. If someone says, Dave is the best. I'm not upset. There's, you've got a great argument for that. If someone says Stormzy is the best, I, can, I, I can't argue with that. There's some things you don't have to argue about. It's just, that's your opinion. That's my opinion. In you get what I'm saying? And you have to respect that. These are greats, yeah. you know? To even be in the conversation at whatever point you put them in. Yeah, they're all cold to me. And to me, it's, it's you who's making me to do me, this. To me, to me. <laughs> You're to me, making me do this. To me. Go on. Go on. Skepta could be above all of them. 
on any given day. Well, I look, I do but this is what I'm gonna say. You can, you can, make, you can make a great argument for Storms, um, for Skepta being a king purely because even though the height might have been a little bit different, I think you do have to put like when you're saying the king, it does help when there's these other elements of this as well. Okay. So not just okay, the music. Okay. This is what I'm gonna say. This is what I'm gonna say. T2 Day. If you can sell trainers, yeah, yeah. through your music and yeah. through people, but like people looking at you and saying you're the coldest, yeah? yeah. Like to me, how do you not add that? How do you not? No, but you look, look, look. You can add that if we're having that conversation about right. everything. Yeah, of course. Right. If we're just talking about everything. Who's who's running culture and all of that? Cool. You that's that. fine. That's, I'm Hussain with you on that. that if we're talking about music. Yeah. Yeah, but you're saying Hussein doing that. When he released his clothing, the ugliest, that shit sold out. Man was selling jackets for eight bills. Yeah, but. He ain't Montclair. How's he selling a jacket for eight bills band, and people are buying it? I don't even want to do that. Tell me if these are, can, so, can any of these man sell an eight bill jacket and sell it out? Who? Any, any of the other names Who? we just Name. mentioned? Names. Skepta, Dave and Storm. Yes. Eight bill puffer jackets. Yes. Maybe. Yes. Maybe. Maybe. Right. Yes. Maybe. Maybe. Yes. Maybe. Big, look, big and serious maybe. here. Selling out like things like that is not like it's not the no bro it's not, it's no, not. no no how much units no no bro what, selling, you're selling out no, a thousand forget that forget that forget that forget that because selling a jacket for eight bills is not a joke bro like making someone that's yeah, not that's beyond man, merch at this that's point, Montclair yeah, at level this money point in their in their careers now you would like to believe that they could sell a thousand eight bills of something <laughs> like, alright but anyway let me get to my point I was going to say earlier God. where I said it might come across mad go on who would you say Globally, right. globally, in American rap, is considered number one uh, of all time. Of all time. Yeah. I mean, how do you look past Jay Z? Drake. Drake's not American. Oh, Canadian. Well, in my opinion, I think you don't have a mind. In my opinion, I thought Just, it was, <laughs> I thought it was Tupac. I think when you speak oh, to a most time. when of all time dead or alive. No, I hear that. I think most people it, globally, can, when you speak to them, they say Tupac. I can hear right? that. Right, but. When you, when you get into that argument, people go, Tupac ain't the most lyrical guy. Do you get what I'm saying? They'll say, no, no, hear what I'm saying though. Get, go with me in this. They'll say, Jay-Z or Nas or Biggie's a bit more lyrical than him. His thing's more passion and it's the substance of what he's talking about. He doesn't have to be the most lyrical. Do you get what I'm saying where I'm going with this? I don't agree with that, but yeah. But anyway. have you never heard that before? I've heard that. Okay. Yeah. So my thing is, this is the thing with Jay Huss. I get a similar thing from Jay Huss, right? Yeah. Whereas Dave, He's more lyrical than Jay, Jay Huss. Like, Dave on Ruler 2 with Young Steph, that song there is one of my favourite UK rap songs ever, bro. Yeah. The way they're going back and forth on that and spitting is just, Dave's some, saying some mad things. Dave said some of the most clever lines I've ever heard in, in rap, period. There you go. Any part of the Atlantic, mm. Dave has said. But you see the feeling I get when I listen to Jay Huss? I'm getting lyrics, yeah? Mm. And I'm getting this feeling, bro. Like, mm. when I listen to Jay Huss's Daily Duppy, mm. He can make talking about depression or certain things sound cool. Yeah, yeah. He can make it sound wavy. Like, whereas if other people talk about the same subject, it sounds a bit depressing. I hate no you. pun intended. <laughs> like, like, my thing is, like, that's a skill. That that's an art form, I hear that. bro. Like, it's, it's... Are we not talking? Because even when we, like, we're doing this, this, and some people might say I'm a hypocrite in saying this, but I don't believe so. But like when we're talking about someone being the king, should we not be looking at this objectively? Because essentially what you're saying is, and I'm kind of basing my argument off it too, is like how it particularly makes me feel. But should we not be looking outside of that? Really? Because like that's no, because cool. music's ob music is, is about a taste and opinion. Of course it is. But if we're sitting and looking at, you can still have that. You can still have your taste and opinion. Yeah. But if we're sitting and set talking about someone who is the king, we also have to step outside of our own just, oh, I really like this song and they say it in a certain, and it makes me feel. No, but okay, what like the impact that it's actually making and the things that they're actually doing. Yeah. Like all of these things have to be as strong, if not more stronger than my, my, my current feeling. So for example, there might be someone that I could look at and say, you know what, I don't even particularly rate them. Like, okay, let's look at... Um, the football's easiest. Go. The best player in the world is, in your opinion. Or the best player ever is. Messi, for or me. Or your favourite player is. Do you know what? No, but then it's not, wait, because it's not, some people say Ronaldo anyway. Can I so it's always opinion well. based. Ronaldinho was like, for me, the greatest. The greatest, for me. Yeah, that's for me. Yeah, but I love Ronaldinho. That's it. That's I love me. Ronaldinho. He's not, but, um, but I love Ronaldinho. All right, but that's for me. But anyway, I don't even want to do that. Filthy Feathers can do that shit. Um, <laughs> 
But yeah, ultimately, but yeah, I guess I kind of see the sentiment of what he's saying just a tiny bit. Is that like, even though football is sometimes people do this based off stats and all of that type of shit in it. But it's like, sometimes you got to go a, beyond just the feeling of how it just made you feel and look at just the facts of everything. Like what all of these lot are, like some of these lot are doing. And I just think that the only reason why I can't give Jay Huss the king yet is not because he doesn't have the ability to be the king. And it's not because he's not good enough to be the king. And I hear the argument for it, but I'm just like, He's not doing enough. I don't, yeah. He's not doing enough. There's, and that's the fact. The same way that you're saying, oh, yeah, you but know can what? I say something? Wait, 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 let me finish, yeah? The same, <laughs> way, the same way that you're saying, you know what? Go on. Can these not put out an album without blah, 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 blah? We ain't seen it happen. That's the fact. The fact of the matter is, we haven't seen this man claim his kingdom. All right, but I've got another perspective for you. So this was sometimes, like sometimes, things, sometimes doing all the other stuff, yeah, is disingenuous. Right. Sometimes it's disingenuous. Right. I sometimes agree. people do it, and I'm not saying people are doing that, but I'm just saying sometimes people do these things because they know that's what helps them get to that Right. Level. So do you know what? Hold on, hold on, Tell no, me no, who's no, doing it now then. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who's, the, hold on, who's the one? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who's the one? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So what I'm saying is, yeah, there's an industry. And sometimes you've got to play the industry game to be that top person in the industry. So that yeah. means work with people maybe you don't even want to work with. Go to certain events you don't want to Huss go to. Huss doesn't do that and Dave don't do that. No, but I'm not, I'm not, listen, all I'm, all I'm saying is Huss don't do that because he's, does, he's not doing anything. And, and I feel, Stormzy hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I'm saying the reason Stormzy, I mean Huss, I believe a big part of it, and this is me speculating, doesn't do all that stuff is because he knows it's all fake and bullshit and he's a real guy. No, it's that, all, no one wants to get. Void. Why? You can't say that without saying that in this context of the argument, to, to make your argument stronger, you can't say that without saying yeah. that Dave and Stormzy do that. I'm saying if you're in the music industry and you're there, we all do it. I do it. In the so game I'm in, in the game that? I'm in. You, you what, if, you're, if you're collaborating with everyone and you're working with people you don't maybe necessarily who, want to work with, who, that who means they that? do it. Who? Everyone, everyone, everyone I, apart from J-Huss does it. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> everyone apart from J-Huss does it. But that's the game. But no, but do you get what I'm saying though? That's the game, bro. That's the music industry. You either, you have to work with people, you have to do all the little things or you don't do it and you're on an island by yourself, bro. I disagree that Dave does that. And I huh? I disagree that Dave does that. Does what? What you're saying that he's doing to, because it's just playing the game thing. All right, see, all right, see, right. see, see Dave, yeah? Dave, Dave don't just work with anyone. Dave, Dave don't just work with anyone. But he what you're saying is true, anyone. but in the context of the argument that we're saying right now, into establishing who the king is, but and I, we're mentioning these three, no, you but, can't say that without saying these two do No, that. no, no, but what I'm saying is there's other to things. To diminish their kingdomism. I'm not trying to diminish their kingdomism. The kingdomism, <laughs> that's a mad word. No, what I'm saying is, yeah, it's like you might see, all right, I saw a picture one time and it was, I think it was, it was Dave, Stormzy and Skepta at a premiere. Was it the 007 premiere? I got a take on that. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I they were it. all standing next to each other at 007 premiere. Yeah. You're not going to see us at a 007 premiere doing that stuff, bro. What? That's my point. My point is- What does that mean? No, my, my point is you have like, to be number one and be in the public eye as number one, you have to do those extra things. Do you right. get what I'm saying? Yeah. Show up to a premiere. I'm not saying that's fake. I'm not, I weren't relaying that to being fake. The fake thing was literally just collaborating with people you don't want to collaborate with. And, yeah. and Dave doesn't do that. No. He doesn't do that. But my point is, there's all those other little extra things that all the other rappers that will do. Going to the fashion shows, going to the premieres, doing all these other things that keeps you in the tabloids, that keeps your name floating about, that keeps you in the blog. They're just little things, it's press, isn't it? Jay Huss don't do the press, it's the bro. music, bro. When we get down to the music, it's music. Bro. I put out the music, I don't shoot a video, I put it out there. The people tell me it's the best. It goes number one and I disappear. Mitch, and I so come back. Right, but That's what so Frank wrong. Ocean does. Wait, let's wait. You're so right, but you're so wrong. Go on, why? You're right as in what you're talking about in how this industry works. Yeah? yeah. But in the context of the conversation that we're having, I think that you're wrong purely because the guys that we're talking about here, yeah? I'm not, and I'm not even talking about that. Like. When I, I'm not even putting that shit in the pot, to be honest with you. Wait, are these four undisputedly the goats, by the way, right now? Are we saying though? 
you cut it has to be Skepta, it has to be Skepta, Hus, Dave, Hus, Dave and, and Stormzy. Stormzy. Those are the four be. names. And for me, Those none are the of four them names. are kings. Huh? Yeah. And for me, none of them are You're kings. saying they're all no, but then you but see, but then these are the hold on. But then a minute ago you said you said, doesn't there have to be a king when you remove your opinion from it? No, I did that's not what I was saying. That is what you were no, saying. No, 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 no. Okay, you misinterpreted <laughs> what I was saying. What was you saying? I was saying in that part, I'm gonna lose my train of thought. I was saying that like if we are talking about who is going who is potentially the king, yeah. Shouldn't our, shouldn't our discussion be more than just how something has made me personally feel? So we have to look at what this person yes, has actually yes, done. Yeah? Yes. And that's why I used that, um, the, the uh, what do you call it? The diagram as a reference of saying, look, like if we lay out what makes somebody the king, whatever mm. it is, regardless of the music or whatever, yeah. then we start looking at the percentages of wh- who's doing what. To me, it seems like, the argument that you've used on one side, um, a hus is like so overwhelming in the percentage on this bit here, but then lacks everything else. And I think that there has to be. By the way, he's not even overwhelming in that percentage as well. The music, he's not overwhelming. Well, as well. I mean, let's just say that, yeah. yeah but yeah. like in everything else, for whatever reason, he's lacking. And that's why I'm saying we can't really call him that. And then. When I'm looking at everyone else, I'm kind of saying, well, yeah, like the things are evening up and that, but is it what enough? Things? Is what it things? enough to even? What are all these other things? Bro, <laughs> it has saying. to be. I know bro, what he's saying, but I, well, what are these other things? Testing me. But it just has to be like, you know what? Like, you have to look at. You got to look at shows. You got to look at in the influencing aspect of it. There's so many different things that you got to look at, and Huss is just not even really doing them. So, all right. So, by what you're saying, the and I just there, missed my original point. Wait, what was you saying before that? Because I don't want to forget that bit. Oh, oh, is it a big point? Oh, I'm sorry, oh. chats. The but you know what? Gone. Like, for me... So for you, I'm just going to wild one. Dave's closer to it right now for me. So I let me ask something. Like... Is Central C then, by what you're saying, is he, is, he, is he climbing his way towards those things? Absolutely. Yeah. He's far away from it. Yeah. But you can't... You can't... Like some of the, and you know what? His album was actually all right. I know some people sit there and say... Yeah, I remember you said that. His album's actually pretty good. It was much better than I actually... Um, for it was gonna be, and I just feel like he'll he'll actually progress. He'll he knows how to play the game that you're talking about, but I think he also knows how to. I think he knows how to make music, and he knows how to play the game in regards to like getting traction or whatnot. But we can't look, we can't, we can't take away from the fact that the, the impact that this kid is having globally, not just here, not just in his own. This Don's going to Australia, and there's thousands and thousands of youths that are coming out just to see, just to take a glimpse of this guy, and he's not making music that is. You know, it's not 2010 or um, 12 where man are making questionable shit. Mm. This is what this is what they're not doing at the moment. Is he there yet? No, I, I just like how do you bypass someone who's done not only done that but on top of that can turn around and say, yeah, I did main stage at Glastonbury as well, and this is the impact that I, this is the cultural impact that I made. This is the statement that I made too musically when I was doing that. Also, on top of that, in my own hometown in my own hometown, doing black mu- music and black stuff. Yeah. I'm doing all of these shows in these venues. Yeah. And on top of that, not only that, I'm going to Boston and Seattle and I'm doing the equivalent of Hammersmith Apollo over there. Big man, doing Hammersmith Apollo in London, being from London is a madness. Yeah, I yeah. still didn't even normalize that. Yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going and doing it over in Boston and Seattle and that is insane. And on top of that, some of these lot are knowing throw like throwaway songs and shit. Right. You have to add that into yeah, the pot. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. have to. Okay, I hear all of that, and I definitely all of that. So if we bring and Hus ain't doing that, but that's his own fault. Now I don't even want to say fault because he doesn't want to do that. And if he doesn't want to do that, then it's hard to say. So you're saying he's not even trying to be in this. Scene. If he was trying to be, I think he could take it easy. Do you? I think he could take it easy. If he what? If J Hus said, you know what? Now nah, you know what? I want to be the king. I want to be the king. So who is the closest to the throne for you? It has to be, it has got to be Stormzy. It sounds like you, but early on, you, it sounds like you were leaning towards Dave. It's got to be Stormzy and Dave. No, but come on, what one, bro? (laughs) What one is it? I think it was Skepta. Wait, okay, wait, stop. Because, stop. It's, the reason why I say Dave today is because of just the campaign that he's come off. Stormzy's about to come into his new one. But I, how do you bypass right, Stormzy? Right, right. How do you wait, bypass wait, Stormzy? Wait. How? I know, I know. How do you no, bypass no, no, him? I know it's difficult because Stormzy is... Storm, how do you bypass into, that? Stormzy is greatness. Like he is. You've seen what he's done and it is, it's actual greatness. Like the fact, even it still blows my mind to this day. They headline Glastonbury 
with a Banksy stab proof vest on. I and feel, trap star boxers. Yeah, I can't I still can't get my head around that one. And then this video right now with a gospel choir. Yeah, he went mad. This video right now, to me, he's laid down the gauntlet massively. Massively. Yeah, yeah. He doubled down again and said he's a goat. He said he's a course they don't like me, I'm the king. He's saying it with his chest. I respect it. I respect it. Can I, say he, as well, he I respected looks like it, it when he said it two years Can I say ago. He looks like it as well. How about that? Not only is I know that's not a, this is not a poignant point. Pause. What, is, what do you mean he looks? He like just it? looks like a fucking king. He looks like one. Look at when you see him standing next to everyone else. Dave was there. He's done the things that you need as well. He's gone gym. He's got hench. Yeah, he's he looks got, intimidating. Bro, he looks like a fucking superhero. He looks rich. Bro, yeah. he looks like a superhero. He, do you know what? On top of that too, you know what? Like you have to throw this in the pot. He did his tour because COVID and shit happened or whatever. He did this, what, all two years after the thing came out and still did Oto Arena three times in a row. Yeah, granted, you know, most of the tickets and that was already sold. So hold on, hold on. So then where does, where does Skepta come into this conversation for you? Skepta because we're talking about someone that's two decades, over two decades in, super relevant, crossed over, has got platinum selling songs with ASAP Rocky and got songs with YSL, like... Can I tell culturally, you? Culturally, his impact, culturally... Yeah. Is probably maybe the strongest than, out of the four. Right. So go. Let's go by the, far. Let's go to the diagram. On that part, he's almost almost the equivalent of us in that sense. Look how big that part would be in the in the element of influencing. Mm. Like yeah, but the music's there as well. Of course it is. I'm not saying it isn't. The I'm music's not it isn't. there. The hits are there. I would say that's for me. Skepta is is he embodies what we would say a, a legend is. So you know, like now people will throw a. And a, a super living legend. Yeah, but he's still, still like competing, him. though. He's still competing. He's still no, but I'm but, saying. But I know we throw away legends a the... lot. But look at what this Don has done. He and he is competing, all but right. he's in a different type. I got I just... one more for you as well. Go on, because he has all the right to be the king as well. The landlord. I'm not putting him as the king, but he has all the right to be the king. Of yeah, all the things does. you said, he has all the right to be there. And he has but how all much the respect. More? Oh, he has all the respect. He has all the but respect. how much more, though? Who are you putting him ahead of? He's in the five. He's in the I five mean, for me. If I had to complete the five of them four, he's in the five. Kings goes in. And yeah, it's them I, I, five. I, I could agree with that. It goes that five. That's the five for me. I don't care where. Whoever wants to put what order they want to do right now, that's fine. That's fine. I don't What's mind. What's you lot's order? I don't mind. What do you lot think? I don't, I what don't do mind. What do you lot think? Like, like, what do you lot who? think? I'm As just in talking to them. The, the audience. Yeah. That's not in it. Because for me, that's the right now, that's the five. And there are people that are staking their claim and coming up. Like, I think soon people got to start having a conversation about young ads. Definitely. Uh, are, my take on Young Ads, though, is Young that, Ads like, is really putting his name in there. Now, let's, we'll have a separate conversation on him still. Yeah. Um, can I say, what do you, what would you say is your expectations for Stormzy now? What, like, in regards, musically? Musically, um, I think, I think both his first two albums, Gang Signs and Pray and Heavy Their Head, were very good albums, very solid albums. I think this next album, he needs to create that, that one album in the catalogue that, mm no one can question. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? What's that? Are you going? Me? Yeah, I know. I've got to go. Uh, it's for you. Oh, why? Wow. <laughs> Is that for me? Yes. Why? Because you're going to be late, bro. Bro, it's cool too. Yeah, we got to wrap it up. But, but, but all I'm saying is this. I think he just needs that one... Like I said, both two albums, very good, solid albums. I think he needs that one in the catalogue that's like, when you look in Drake's catalogue, people now go like, nothing's the same or take care or Kendrick Lamar is yeah, like Good yeah. Kid Mad City or Jay-Z is like Blueprint. You need that album where everyone yeah. goes, they hold it up and they go, there's no discussion here. Yeah. This is the project. Do you get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And I think that's what this ne next project needs to be. I, I like what he did with this seven minute song. Yeah. Seven minute of just bars. Yeah. He's done it in a time where Two minutes is now the, the norm yeah, yeah. and people's a attention and span. Yeah. The video kept us locked in for 10 minutes straight, which is very impressive. Yeah. He's spitting his head off. And I think now he just needs to give us that, that project where it's like everyone unanimously from the people on the roads to the people that whoever, I don't know, that aren't on the roads, that go to school, whoever it happens to be, everyone can unanimously hold up and go, this is the guy. He, this is why he's the king. Do Honestly, you know what I'm saying? I hear you. That's I what I that think stuff. personally. Me personally, I think the album that he can always be the most proud of regardless of anything that's ever happened or that will happen going forward is Gang Signs and Prayer. I feel like he's got that yeah. for me. I think this is his third album. For me, I feel like in the in the space that he's in, 
doing all of the things that he's actually done and all of the things that he has achieved and accomplished, I actually think this is an album where he can take a risk. I think it's an album where he can just be whoever he actually genuinely feels he is today. Free, free albums in. Free out 100 million percent because he's got gang signs on prayer. Absolutely. I think third uh, this third album, he can... I, I think he like can, he took, I think I he can, like he took risks on Heavy as the Head. When he did, yeah, the, he when did. he did, when he did, um, I think he could take a bigger one. When he was singing, I think he could and take he did the gospel. One. I feel, I feel like he took those. Risks. I think he could take a bigger one. What's a big? I don't want to see no Drake house risk. No, I don't no, want to no, see no. no. I don't want to see man go left and no, start no, doing no, 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 a, a no, piano. No, no not risk, like that. Please. Not like, not like that. Not I'm not like on that. that risk. No, no, not like that. But you know what? But all I can say is this: Yeah, is that I know he's got Casa, who's musically directing this this project. Yeah, I know Casa very well, and I just know that Casa is a as a music head mm-hmm. more than anything and I just know that he's a person who in in somewhat like a Fraser T. Smith he's just not someone who's just going to sit there and just try to just make something just for the just no, for that so and I think that that this is the album to be able to do that also just very quickly as well I saw people saying that they like talking about this being Stormzy's comeback single I don't believe that this was a comeback single like I think obviously it's a like comeback and the video's like it's not a single. It's, it's not a single. It's not like, a single. I don't think anyone was sitting there rubbing their hands at the desk thinking to themselves, you know what, yeah, this is going to be the one that's going to be number one or whatever. But he's got everyone talking and that's what they've wanted still. Listen, i got to go to Newcastle. I'm going to lose. Yeah, I'm going to miss my train. More. Mitch, love for coming through, but, on, my bro. bro. And we'll do it again soon, yeah? I'm gonna Thanks for this. listening, everyone, yeah? Stormzy! Stormzy! <laughs>